beautiful day. It's the beginning of fall. All the leaves haven't started changing yet. Whoa, spider web. The, uh, there we go. Still a great day to get out and do some work. And I really need to take this, I really need to take this Widowmaker down before I camp there again. So I normally bug out my camp side is. It doesn't belong to me, but um, it's part of the, the forest I share and I try to maintain my little section of the of the forest and keep keep it uh, looking good and, and keep it trash free and and cut down these standing deads and the widow makers and take care of things and it is a it is a right beautiful day so thanks for coming along I don't know if I'll get that done today or not. It might be a two-dayer. But anyway, I'll get at least half of it done. If it doesn't fall on its own next time I come out here to camp, then uh, I'll cut it down the rest of the way. So, we might get it, I don't know. I like my new shirt from Spirit Forest. Love it. Yes, I'm hungry. Mosquitoes are still terrible. Let's get some smoke rolling. Get rid of them. First thing, yeah, we're gonna do the uh, heavy cover skillet. We'll do some eggs and bacon, or bacon and eggs. And, jeez, here we go. Firebox stove. I wanted to do some basic bushcraft too. I wanted to do some fat wood and uh, I've got a um, 
my char cloth box. I need to fix some more char, char cloth. We're out of char cloth. So. using my thumb for a push cut. Oh man, you can smell that. I mm. love that smell. Save all this for the fire. It's not as good. Yeah. Man, look at that. You, know, you can feel it. That is still wet. That's not gonna work. It's all right, we'll use it for a plate here for a something to bang off of see what this is like. Perfect. So I made the mistake of only bringing one saw. I brought the buck saw. I didn't bring my little Oppenel or uh, Baco or anything. You know what they say, two is one and one is none. So I'm gonna have to split this up smaller. I just have to keep banging her out, banging away on it. Get some of the smoke around me. Get the bugs off. Man, that's terrible. So I've talked about the firebox stove before. It's a great product. It's 
especially for a dry fall day like today, it contains the fire, makes it a lot more safer uh, to use, and I don't have to worry about uh, the fire being all the way out. Um, obviously, I'm going to put it out before I pack it up, but I'll know it's out because I'll have to pack up the stove versus a campfire where you're kicking uh, dirt and, and pouring water on it, making the sludge. So this, this works really well for this time of year. And I'm starting to get my, uh, yeah, my fire, my uh, fat wood starting to burn down. So I'm start adding my hardwood. I'm going to light up through the, through there. Putting this piece underneath it so that rock will stay steady. There we go. Acorns falling. Get my smoke bath going. Ah. I can already tell the difference. The mosquitoes are already going away and the flies. I don't hear the buzz around my ears. Love it. So let's commence to cooking. Breakfast is by far my favorite meal of the day. This is the first time using my heavy cover skillet, and it is, man, it transfers heat quick. So I gotta be careful not to burn it. You can see I burnt the bacon a little bit, but it's all right. All right, so I got my coffee brewing. It's, uh, the eggs are cooled off. Let's eat a little bit. <clears throat> we'll make some char cloth next. Got some oak here. We're gonna... Ooh, man. We'll stoke the fire with that. get our char cloth tin ready. Here we've got our 
Altoids 10 with a hole in it. And I'm going to take some uh, cut up pieces of an old handkerchief. Handkerchief. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to place those in here. There we go. Okay, it's been a few minutes. They actually got a little bit too burnt my glove too. That's a bummer. These are my favorite gloves. Anyway, got a little too uh, too hot. Oh, there's still some in there. Good. There's still a little bit of char cloth, but uh, it burned up most of it. That'll take a spark. That'll work really well, but I need to get more. But it, if you let your uh, if you let it get too if there's too many flames around it, it will get it too hot and catch the catch it on fire. But I think my Altoids tin has got too much. Uh, I've used it too many times, and it's it's uh, got too many holes in it, so it's allowing too much uh, too much oxygen in there. So before you could see the the, uh, the little hole there, it, it would the smoke would jet out of it. You could actually hear it, and it push it out, and it did really well. But now it's starting to I get a little flames on the side, so I'm gonna have to give me another 10, I believe. But we've got a little bit of it. So it wasn't a total loss. But I do like my firebox stove. So it has been a beautiful day in the woods. But let me be honest with you. Today was not a success. The uh, the char cloth didn't turn out that well. Uh, I didn't get half as much cut on the tree that I wanted. Uh, the um, breakfast was good, but I ended up, uh, I burnt a little bit of the eggs and a little bit of the bacon, so it had kind of a scorched taste, part of it. Part of it was perfect, and the other part had a little scorched taste to it. Um, I know on YouTube and in uh, Hollywood, all the movies, everything looks perfect, and, they, and we make it look perfect because we can edit. We can edit out all the flaws, all the mistakes, all the first attempts, second attempts, third attempts. We can do that to make it more entertaining, to make a better video. So I guess my point is, don't be discouraged. Keep at it. Keep going. No matter what trial you're going through, uh, things will get better. Just keep at it. Don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Thanks for watching another episode of Ugly 10. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it wasn't anything, <laughs> it wasn't anything earth-shattering, but uh, you know we had a good day in the woods. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.